We are now on our last week of our lesson in Microsoft Excel. As we continue, can you tell me the reminders we are to follow whenever using our computers? That's great! So that we can avoid body aches and we can also do our work better. So these are our objectives for this week. A. We will identify basic formulas in a spreadsheet. We will also use the autosum function of Microsoft Excel and we will add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers in a spreadsheet. Aside from sorting and organizing data, another powerful feature of Microsoft Excel is its ability to compute numerical data. And it can do this by using different formulas. But before that, when you use a formula, it should always start with what sign? Very good! A formula should always start with an equal sign. Microsoft Excel lets you do mathematical operations. You can add, subtract, multiply, and divide numbers. Surely, we can compute these numbers manually. However, computing is easier when you use Excel, especially when you have to work on a lot of numbers. This will make you more productive at work. Let me show you how to do the operations using this sample spreadsheet. Let's start with addition. For example, we would like to add these two numbers. The first thing you have to do is to click on the cell where you want the answer to appear. So it should be in B4. Next, type equal sign the first number plus sign second number. Then, press Enter key. However, if we suddenly change the number here, for example, let's change 312 to 400, notice that the answer wouldn't change because we use the exact numbers here. So another way to type the formula is, let me just erase that, equal sign, Click the cell of the first number, plus sign. Oh, by the way, if you notice B2 is colored in blue, at the same time, cell B2 is outlined in blue. So that makes a color reference to the cells. We continue, plus the next cell, B3. Then press Enter. The answer would appear in that cell. Let's try to change the numbers in cells B2 or B3. The answer would automatically change. So if I try to change this cell again, answers would change automatically. Next, let's do the subtraction. Click the cell where you want the answer to appear. Type equal sign. Click the first number. Subtraction sign. Then click the second number. Press enter. Next, let's multiply numbers. Again, click the cell where you want the answer to appear equal sign, click the first number. In Excel, we use the asterisk as a sign for multiplication. Asterisk, second number, and then press enter. And lastly, division. Click the cell where you want the answer to appear, equal sign, click on the first number, and for division, we use the slash symbol. Press enter, you've got the answer. So even if we try to change the uh, 
um, numbers inside these cells, answers would automatically change. And by the way, we can see the answers appearing in these cells, but if you take a look at the formula bar, it will still show you the exact formula that you type there. Sometimes, you must add the cells in a column, just like this, or in a row. But you don't have to type them all in the formula. You don't have to click them one by one, like E3 plus E4 plus E5 and so on. You can use the AutoSum function. The AutoSum button can be found in the editing group. The AutoSum function can add all the cells in a column. So for example, we would like to add Roy's monthly savings for 2019. That is, his savings from January until December. So how do we do that? First, click on the cell containing the first number that you want to be added. Then drag the mouse down to the last cell which contains the number. Then, click on the AutoSum button. The answer is displayed in the next empty cell which is, for this spreadsheet, E15. The AutoSum function can also add cells in a row. So in this spreadsheet, for example, we would like to total the scores of Nico 20, 22, 27, and 19. So we simply have to select or highlight the cells, then click the AutoSum button. The answer is now appearing in cell F3. So computing numbers, especially when you have a long list of numbers, would be easier when you use Microsoft Excel. So if you click on the cell containing the answer, you can see the formula in the formula bar. 